Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study sums with 9. All the possible ways to make 9 with two numbers. And yeah, I have my table and there's lots of lingonberries there, these little red things. Or maybe you want to think of them as mini strawberries. Here, I have two groups, 9 on this side and 0 on this side, and that makes a total of 9, right? So I write 9 plus 0 equals 9, and you already know how this works. So here we have 0 plus 9 equals 9. And over here now I have how many and 1? Just 1 less than 9 here, right? So this is 8 and 1, and that makes 9. And over here 1 and 8. And then over here, remember there is a pattern here, 9, 8, 7. And over here will be 6, and over here will be 5. So 7 and 2 makes 9, or 2 and 7. Then over here 6 and 3, and then 3 and 6. And then lastly 5 and 4. 4 and 5. Alright, our table is ready. You want to look it over a little bit and study it, and try to remember these sums. And of course, you will be also doing it in your math book, the same exact table of all the sums with 9. And now we're going to drill, we're going to practice this. I want you to remember them, memorize them. And so I will point to a problem and then you will say the answer. Try not to look in here. 2 plus how many makes 9? 7. 5 plus how many makes 9? 4. 3 plus how many makes 9? 6. And then 6 plus how many makes 9? 3. 8 plus how many makes 9? 1. And 4 plus how many makes 9? 5. And now, math is going to drill you. Math is going to point to a problem, and then you just say the answer. Okay? Ready, Mathy? Sure. Okay, it's going to be his tasks that they're going to point to the problem like that. Good job. Good job, Matthew, too. Thank you. Matthew wants to buy blueberry ice cream that costs $6. Must be a big tub of ice cream. But you have a mammoth appetite, right? He only has $3. This thingy here means dollars. $3. You read it. $3. Matthew only has $3, so he can't buy it. How much more money does he need? He has $3, but he needs 6 to buy it. I can write a how many more addition for this problem. He has three and he needs some more, right? We don't know how much more, but then when he gets some more he will have six. Three plus how many more makes six? The answer is three. Matthew needs three dollars more. Maybe he has to go work somewhere, such as pick some blueberries and sell them. Here we have something different. 2 plus 4 and a box and a 5. Hmm. That is a comparison problem. We need to write either less than or greater than symbol in there. Remember that alligator's mouth? Or... What's that, Matthew? Mammoth's mouth? Yeah, that mouth goes this way or this way. But 2 plus 4, we need to first solve how much is that. 2 plus 4, how much is it? It's 6. I'm going to write it here. So now we can just compare. There's 6 here on this side and 5 on that side. Which one is more? 6 is more, so the mouth has to open that way. Okay? Here, 1 plus 1 and then 3 on the other side. I'll copy the 3 down here. And here I'm going to answer what's 1 plus 1. Well, 2, of course. And now, 2 and 3. Which one is greater or more? 3 is more, so we write 2 is less than 3. 7 plus 1. Well, that is 8. I'll copy the 8. Now compare 8 and 8. Well, they are equal, remember? We put equals. 8 equals 8. Over here, try to solve these last three problems on your own. Pause the video for a little bit. 
Okay, let's solve them together. I'll copy 9 here. 4 plus 4 is 8. And so 8 is less than 9. Over here, 5 plus 5 is like your fingers. 5 and 5, 10. And there's 10 I copy. Equals 10 equals 10. And 3 plus 6 is 9. And there's 10. And so 10 is more. We have 9 is less than 10. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.